we're really lucky to have this instrument because there's only about a half dozen of these uh, particular instruments in the country. Um, it's a smaller company and their goal has been to make one of the most high-end pianos in the world. The thing that really distinguishes it is its tone. Our pretty good students, when they played it, sounded suddenly much better. Um, and of course, our, our very high top students sounded fantastic. If I was going to play a Mozart piano concerto on this instrument, I would want it voiced in a particular way with a smaller, uh, maybe a little bit uh, more slender sound. But if I had to play on the same instrument, play, say, a Tchaikovsky piano concerto, which is a huge amount of uh, effort, you need an instrument that's capable of a, a gigantic amount of uh, strength. It's a piano that is capable of an enormous amount of sound and power, and yet you can turn on the dime and play uh, the softest sounds uh, with, with very easy control. change the sound of the piano within uh, three minutes. So it's uh, really two pianos in one. It was fun getting this piano because I had the chance to go uh, to Italy with some of my colleagues to pick out the instrument from the factory itself. It's such a select instrument, and there's so few of them. Uh, they had three of them in the same space, which is, I think, the highest concentration of Fazioli 308s on the planet. We spent the entire day with them, and at the end of the day, we, uh, we did a, a ballot between the four of us, and we had all chosen the same instrument. My, my favorite feature of this piano is that it's on a BYU stage, and we own it. <laughs>